Hi everyone, Shane Rafael here. I'm currently in Gdansk in Poland, running an international CFB course for my colleagues here from CFBT Poland and the, the Florian Port Fire Service over here at this training centre. So I've had about a week of uh, fairly intense use of this particular bit of kit that's been given to me to evaluate. So this is the clean space purifying, a powered air purifying respirator. It comes with a range of filters which can easily be changed in and out. There's a smart chip in there so it's not just a dumb filter, it's actually being monitored by the computer inside and it tells you how long uh, you've been using the mask, the filter for, when it needs to be replaced. There's also a Bluetooth connection that gives you a ton of data about what sort of a seal you're getting and a whole range of information about the, the state of the batteries and everything else. So it's, it's more than just a, a, a fan with a filter. So it's on the standby mode now. So to, to don it, it's, it's pretty easy. So just put it over your head, the mask around here, and then connect that in. So from here, you've got a couple of adjustments. You can loosen up here, you can tighten up there. There's a whole range of adjustments. You can set the harness up to suit you pretty well perfectly. And as you can see, I can still talk fairly well. You can still, still relatively audible through it. And you can hear it ramping up and ramping down. So it's monitoring the external atmospheric pressure, monitoring the internal pressure inside the mask. So if the pressure drops inside the mask, starts to compensate for it, so it maintains that positive pressure inside. So when I'm inhaling, obviously I'm creating a negative pressure, so it's, it's ramping up. When I'm exhaling, it doesn't need to be working as hard. So it's constantly monitoring the environment and changing. They tell me it gives about a 14 hour battery life. I uh, haven't had to wear it that long yet, but um, you can see from the ergonomics, it's quite comfortable, it's, it's very well balanced. This particular filter is, is a, it's more than just a particle filter, it's actually bigger than the others. The particle filters are very, very low profile and even lighter. But it's not heavy at all, it's not arduous to wear. And you know, compared with an N95, there's no effort required because it's actually a positive pressure mask. So, applications for it. So we're using it down here because we've got smoke around the place, we're doing demonstrations, we try to keep out of the smoke, but sometimes we might have a little bit of smoke around. Mainly for the particulate in these containers, we get very, very fine soot particles that can build up, and they're not good for your health. You do not want to be inhaling them. So, really, for that sort of environment, I think this is absolutely a must. The other situation where I think it's an absolute must is in fire investigation. When these guys are going in after the fire's out, there's less perceived risk, but the contaminant potential for them is actually much higher. So. I, I cringe when I see these guys going in with limited protection and a N95 mask on. The other application would be wall land firefighting. So obviously you can't use this in an oxygen efficient atmosphere. It's just going to clean the atmosphere. So, But for a bushfire situation, this would be so much superior to an N95. Firstly, there's no effort required. You know, it's feeding it to you in a positive pressure, so it's less arduous to wear. Also getting a much better seal, it's a positive pressure seal, like so if I break that seal, it does its best to compensate that, so that you get an extremely high level of protection, comfortable, ergonomic, uh, yeah, a great fit of kit. 